Everybody has a different story about what happened to him. Everyone's familiar with Van Gogh, so I knew a little bit, but when you have to translate that into animation, it's kind of a whole different animal. Even though his work does lend itself really well to animation, I think, if there was one artist that you could animate uh, in that style, I think Van Gogh would be at the top. So there was a lot of back and forth between us and the directors to make sure we all had a cohesive style. But um, we had reference frames to look at based on his actual paintings and um, the other artists that were animating the same scene so we could keep a level of consistency. I saw him once more after two years. It's a movie done with oil paint. If they wanted it to be uh, just a, a rigid, perfect, seamless animation, they could have done it computer program and it would have taken one-fifth of the time. And, um, it would have, you know, it would have, wouldn't have really stood out because that's not, uh, I don't think that's what this project was about. I think they wanted to try something sort of bold and that's what it was. It was a really, really slow, tedious method of animation that I don't know if anyone will ever do again.